Hello and good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Feel free to activate your video. Also, uh, also remember to upload your picture to your profile. Okay, anyone have any questions about how to upload your picture to your profile in Microsoft Teams? No. Yesterday, I wished everybody a happy hump day. So in English, can anyone explain what that word means? Hump day. What do you think? Somebody says happy hump day. What are they wishing you? Yeah, honestly, I don't know. Uh, it is like happy Wednesday is because it's the and the half of the week. All right. And where does it come from? Why why the word hump? Hump day. Hump. H U M P. What's the what do you think the origin is? Where where does it come from? What's the idea? Yo investigué y decía que una joroba. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And in English, how would you? Uh, anyone else? Anyone else have any ideas? Like what? Uh, where does this idea come from? Um. It's an idiomatic expression. It's very common. At least in, it's common in the United States. People say it all the time. But where does where do you think this comes from? Yes, you're right. It it represents the middle of the week. Yesterday, what day was yesterday? What day of the week was yesterday? Wednesday. Wednesday. And we have class when? When do we have class? Like live classes like right now? Mm. When do we have class? Don't be shy. When do we have class? Every day. All the week. All the week? All week? Every yeah. day? Yes. Every Five day. Days. Uh, uh, no. Friday. Monday through Friday, right? So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Not every day, unless you want to have class on Saturday and Sunday. That's fine with me. We can. You guys want to have class on Saturday and Sunday? No. Yeah. No. Okay. All right. Uh, so, yes, we have class Monday through Friday. How many days are there? Monday through Friday? Five. Okay. So, Wednesday is in the middle of the week, right? But where, why the word hump? Where does this come from? Hump. What has um, a hump? Um, it's like... Um, como mitad de semana. That's correct, right? But where does it come from? Why hump? What's what's the idea? You're right. It's at the mid, it represents the middle of the week. Wednesday is the middle of the week. But why hump? What animal has a hump? A camel. A camel. A camel. A camel. And what does a camel have on its back usually? Ah, uh, sí, una joroba. In English? A hump. Ah, okay. And yes, you know, some camels may have two humps, but we're going to assume a camel with one hump. And where usually, unless it's deformed, where does the hump appear on the camel's back? In the middle? In the middle. 
Hence, hump day. That's where the word comes from. The idea is a hump is usually in the middle of a camel's back. So we have this phrase today I can say to everyone, hey, we've, we're over the hump. I'll type it into the chat. We're over the hump. We're in week one. We're over the hump. What does that mean? Have you heard that expression? Uh, it's a pretty like on the week. Okay, one more time. So if Go ahead. it's more like uh, we already passed like the middle of the week. Right, we're we're over halfway completed. We've overly we've over halfway completed the the week. You could say, you know, I'm working on this long project, whatever it is. I'm over the hump. I'm reading this book, and I'm over the hump. That means I've completed more than half of the book or half of the project. Okay, over the hump. This is an idiomatic expression. Hump day also is an idiomatic expression. Very common, at least in American culture. And that's where the, the word comes from. Okay. All right. Before we begin today's activity, number one, I listed in the chat those of you who have not yet entered into teacher ease. Okay. So remember that teacher ease, I want to make sure that everyone knows how to enter into teacher ease. Because in teacher ease, this is where you're going to find your grades and your attendance. And it's really important that you know in my class and all your classes what your grades are and what your attendance is. At the university, you're allowed to miss 16 days. Okay, for our purposes, 16 days would be basically any time between 8 in the morning and 10 in the morning. Okay, so uh, make sure that you're careful with attendance. I'm going to keep uh, the attendance. Basically, your attendance is this class each day. We're going to meet from 8 o'clock in the morning until about 940, more or less. Um, so make sure, guys, that you are able to get into teacher ease. If you're not sure how to get into teacher ease or you want me to send another invitation to your Microsoft 365 email account, please let me know. Send me a chat. Please send me uh, chats anytime you need clarification. Anytime you want to contact me, please use the chat. Um, I ask not to use my email because sometimes it takes me, my email is a mess. All right, I'll be honest, it's a mess. And I check more often in Microsoft Teams. All right, so I live in Microsoft Teams all day. All my work is all in Microsoft Teams, not just this class, but everything else I do. So if you send me a chat, I'm more likely to see it quicker and I'll give you try to get give you a response. OK. Kimas. All right. So today I want to start a new activity. Before we start a new activity, I'm going to share my screen. And. I would like to go to our activity from yesterday. All right, so yesterday I asked everyone to try to respond and leave a story, you retelling one of your classmates' story in Flipgrid. Now, uh, maybe, I don't know if some of you made a mistake accidentally and posted in the incorrect place. Um, you should be able to delete your video if you did that. And if you did that, that's no problem. Please try to delete it and resubmit to someone else. So I still see that some folks have not received uh, a comment. So just double check 
the video that you uploaded because it's possible that two people submitted at the same time to to one person, you know, and so that's fine. I would ask that you work with your classmates, decide who is going to be kind enough to delete their video and resubmit so that everybody receives a comment. OK, that's the goal. That's the my hope. And also remember, we have two. I think Tanya and Yaisha are under my video. They're kind of hidden. OK, so don't forget. Uh, don't forget them either. All right. And you can just reply to my video. I don't think you'll be able to reply or leave a comment to their video because their video is a comment to my video. And that's fine. You can just reply to my video and address them. You can talk to them. So don't forget Tanya and don't forget uh, Yaisha. And don't forget everyone else here that only has one comment. Maria Fernanda, Andrea, and so on. Some of you may be just joining the class. All right, so please make sure you're checking all of the assignments, all the activities that we've done this week so far. Try to catch up and make sure that you contact me if we need to get together, if you need clarification, if you have any questions about any task that we've completed so far this week. All right, any questions, guys, at this point, any doubts? or questions about anything that we've completed so far this week? No, thank you. No. 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 All righty, OK, so uh, today I'm going to give you some instructions and I'm going to give you some time in class to complete today's task. Uh, if you are still working on other tasks, of course, you can work on those as well. All right, if you still haven't posted your introduction, please do so. If you still need to change or create a, a response, that's fine. Um, but today what I'd like to do is introduce the next task. And the next task is all about podcasts. How many of you listen to podcasts in any language? Me. All right, so some of you may be familiar. Hopefully you are familiar with podcasts. And this semester, we're going to be using podcasts a lot, both to listen, to practice our listening comprehension, and also we're going to create our own podcasts. Okay, you are going to be the creator of a podcast. And of course, in English, we're all talking about in English, right? So uh, one of the best ways and easiest ways for you guys to practice your English is to do it a lot, not just in this class, but every opportunity you have to listen and listen and listen, it gets easier. At first, it's difficult, but with time, you're going to be learning and comprehending more as you practice. So today's task, I want you to think about a subject, one of your favorite subjects, one of interest, one of your your interests. Some of you are are into sports. I know some of you like basketball, football. Some of you like the arts. Some of you have a, um, a skill in drawing and painting. Many of you like to cook, and you like you like to cook, and you have a lot of interests. Maybe even some that you didn't share in your introductions. So today's task is to look for a podcast or podcasts, plural, around a subject or a topic that is of interest to you. It can be almost any topic. Now, I say almost any topic. You can choose whatever topic you, you wish. You can choose any podcast on any topic that you wish. But I would ask respectfully that you not choose something that is uh, a little dark, 
you know, uh, no, no topics on murder or drugs or, you know, there's a lot of negativity out in the world and a lot of topics on some podcasts that talk about those things. I really want to keep this as positive as possible. So uh, you can choose almost any topic that you want as long as it's not too dark. It's not too, uh, you know, negative. And if you really have a question about, you know, a topic or a podcast, just ask me and we can discuss it. OK, but for the most part, I, I really want us to focus on uh, a topic that you like that you really have an interest in. And I want you to look for the podcasts and I would like for you to subscribe to those podcasts. Now, I've created a video. There's actually an activity in ClickUp and I'm gonna share this link in Microsoft Teams so that you have the link. I also shared today, I think, did I? Hmm, that's weird. I don't see it now. Maybe I shared it somewhere else. Well, I'll uh, post it again. Uh, today's activity, this is a link to uh, ClickUp. This is the space where you can upload, eventually upload your um, your video. Now, I'll, I'll talk about what we're going to include in the video, but I, w I would like for you first to watch this video. When, when I finish giving you today's instructions, I would like for you to go to the space and watch this video. Okay, and I just give you some ideas about a podcast. Maybe you're already familiar with this. Maybe you're not. But take a look at the video. And I would like for you to find the podcast, look around and find the topics that you want to find the podcast that you want to subscribe to. Um, now, the good thing about podcasts, all right, I talk about pod catchers. Now, pod catcher is an app that you can use to install preferably on your phone. Now, I'm going to be talking primarily about using pod catchers on your phone. If you don't have space on your phone, then you'll have to look for websites that also have podcasts, all right? Most of the most of the podcasts have websites where they also upload their their podcast. All right, so you can either choose a podcatcher for your phone or you can use your desktop computer and just search out those websites that have podcasts. But here's a list, if this helps, this is a list. I use Pocket Casts, Stitcher's really popular, Spotify's really popular. Doesn't matter which one of these you use. Use the one that you like the best. But most podcatchers will slow down the audio. They have an option to either speed up or slow down the audio. And so this might be useful to you, depending on how you want to listen. Okay, and it's up to you. You decide you can repeat it, of course, and you know listen to it as many times as possible. But here's what I would suggest. Please try to get in the habit of listening to your favorite podcasts a little bit each day. All right, maybe it's five minutes a day. Maybe it's 10 minutes a day. But outside of our class, outside of our live sessions that we have Monday through Friday, I encourage you to get in the habit of listening to your, your podcast, listening to the ones that relate to your favorite topic. Because each week, each week I'm going to ask that you create your own podcast now what are and i'm i don't want to get too much into it here now but you're going to be creating a few minutes each to each week a podcast on your topic on whatever topic that you choose but the topic needs to be the same as the podcast that you're choosing to listen to okay so for example you're going to be listening to podcasts 
each day, each uh, a little bit each day. And each week, then whatever you were listening to, whatever information you got, you'll be talking about that information each week. All right, so it it'll it will make it easier, I think, if you get into the habit of listening a little bit each day on the topics that you're interested in, and trying to get some information, right, about what it whatever topic that you want to talk about. All right, so um, the task is in ClickUp, and here is. I'm going to upload. Yeah, you should be able to access this uh, topic. It's called the topic and click up. It's called listening to podcast and go ahead and first watch the video and then spend today looking and listening to these podcasts. I'm going to give you today the whole class today to really uh, find the podcast. Install the podcatcher if you haven't already on your phone or look for websites, and then subscribe or find the podcast or podcasts that you want to listen to each day. And you can choose one podcast and really get into that one podcast, or if you want to choose one or two or three podcasts, that's fine too. But today I would like to give you time in class to uh, look for these podcasts. We can also spend time today if you have any technical questions about how to subscribe to podcasts, how to install the podcatcher onto your phone, any technical problems or issues, we can also talk about those today as well. So I'm going to be can. here in um, in the class. Are there any general questions about today's activity? So we are only going to hear podcast all day class. Yes. Yeah, so what I'd like for you to do is watch the video and then and then go and look for podcast. All right. So and on my phone, let me um, let me go back to the class here, so I can kind of see you guys and see me. All right. So I think the first thing to do on my phone. All right, let me uh, remove my background because. All right, let me try this again. All right, so on my phone, I have a, an app called Podcast. What is it called? Podcast. I don't even know what it's called. Pocket Casts. That's the name of the podcatcher. And I, sh I talk about this in the video, but here are all my podcasts. Now, these are all related to news and education. Like one of my favorites is um, the Teacher Thought Podcast. So I open up the Teacher Thought Podcast, and I have all these episodes, or they post all these episodes. They publish, it looks like they publish every couple of days, maybe. And each podcast lasts one hour. Now, you don't have to listen to, if, if the podcast is really long, this is what you can choose, right? You can choose longer podcasts. You can choose shorter. You don't have to listen to an hour podcast. It all depends on, you know, what you're getting from the podcast, okay? I'm not even going to tell you how many, how many minutes of a podcast you need to listen to. You just need to listen to a, a podcast, and you decide how much. Teacher, but yes. do we have to download an app to uh, to update the 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 podcast? The podcast. Um. All right. So, so yes, on your phone, the Podcatcher is an app. So let me go back to. And again. Thank you, but wait. you're gonna give us the link in the chat right now. Uh, okay, so ahorita voy a compartir la liga a la actividad en Flipgrid, lo que vamos a, a hacer. 
parte de esta actividad primero es ver el video donde voy a explicar eh, que es un podcast, este, un poco lo que estoy explicando ahorita. Y, y ustedes pueden escoger el app en el celular donde mantienen todos los podcasts, lo que quieren hacer. Puede ser un podcast, puede ser varias, pero es un app, se llama Podcatcher, y ustedes pueden escoger el app. Hay un montón de apps para este, y que puede, puede instalar, que pueden usar. Eh, si hay un problema, si no tienen espacio en su celular, pueden usar pues, un sitio web. ¿Verdad? Porque también casi todos los podcasts tienen una página web donde tienen también los podcasts. Entonces, es opcional. Ustedes deciden si quieren utilizar su celular o quieren utilizar su página web. So, okay, here. Thanks, teacher. All right. You're welcome. So, here, podcast. Um, try to choose a podcast that has episodes that they post at least once a week. All right. Try not to choose a podcast that has one once a month because uh, it, you're not going to get new information. You want to try to get current information. But this is one of my favorite podcasts. And I can just listen to it. It automatically, when I subscribe to the podcast, it automatically downloads the audio. Help. Right, so I can just listen to it. I can pause it. I can come back to it and continue where I left off. Of course, I can repeat it. I can slow it down. I can speed it up. Right, you decide how you want to use the the um, the podcast. Okay. Um, what I would prefer is I want to give you time first to go ahead and watch the video, start the activity, and then. Come back into the class, ask, ask questions about whatever, whatever you're doing, okay? And then once you have completed, you found the podcast, then I would like for you to go to the link. Let me share my screen again. Go back to the link in Microsoft Teams. right here, and this will take you to the task, because the task today is to find podcast and then upload a video that explains, let me click here. All right, where you explain what, uh, why you chose this video you explain let me uh sorry let me go back here mm. okay one second here I don't know if you guys, when you go into Flipgrid, let me go back in here. Okay. All right. Th this, uh, this is the information I would like for you to include in your video. So you can describe the topic of interest. What topic are you going to be focusing on? Maybe it's basketball, sports, maybe it's cooking, maybe it's arts, painting, whatever it is. Uh, you can talk about the name or names of the podcast that you chose. You can talk about how frequent and how recent are the episodes. So the episodes are the individual broadcast of the podcast. You can talk about who the host is of the podcast. Who's the main person who's speaking? You know, maybe it's some famous person. Maybe it's a person that's an expert in that field. You can talk about that. You can talk about which podcatcher are you using. Are you using Stitcher, Spotify, right? Whatever podcatcher you're using, you can describe that. You can choose why you chose the topic, right? If you want to talk about why this topic or this subject is important to you. 
And anything else you would like to share about this topic or about the podcast? Okay, so I've included some questions here in uh, this, in the instructions here, all right? And below is where you can record your response or record your uh, video, much like what you did in introductions. Let me go ahead and copy this link. Okay, this link was probably better because it has the instructions and you can go and watch the video. So let me paste that right now into Microsoft Teams. Yeah, this is probably better. I would choose this last link that I just shared. Okay, again, you can click on this link and it should take you to this page. Okay, watch the video. Go ahead and search different podcasts and you can listen. Obviously, you'll, you'll probably want to listen if you're not familiar with the podcast. Go ahead and spend today in class listening to a little bit of the episodes to see if it's you know, if it's something that that you want to use. And then when you're finished, you can go back to this space and then upload your video as a response. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and pause here. I'm going to uh, mute my mic. I'll be here if you guys have questions. Just jump right in. Uh, I would prefer that you just jump in, not leave a uh, message because sometimes I miss it in the chat. Uh, just jump in, open up your mic, and uh, ask your question. So we have all the class to complete this activity? Yes, you have the entire class. We'll come back around 9.35 or so to close the question and or close the class and, and focus on any questions that you have at that time. So we'll come back at, in about an hour, 9, 9.35. OK, thank All you. Right. OK, you're welcome. But what do we have to do right now? Like go to the, to the video? Yes, what I would do, this is what I would do. All right, let me go ahead and share my screens. Um, the first thing I would do is go to Microsoft Teams and click on this link. From this link, I would click on this video. And I would watch, I would watch the video. Uh, watch the video and see <clears throat> what if it clarifies what you need to do. Um, what you need to do is then is to go and find a pod catcher. If you're going to use your phone, you can use your phone to find a pod catcher. A pod catcher is an app that um, look at that basically brings in podcasts. OK, so you'll need to find a podcast, at least one podcast on the subject that you are interested in. And so install that on your phone or look online and find a podcast that you want to use. When you've done that, then come back to this space and prepare a video trying to answer some of these questions. OK, and then you can upload your response here. OK, thank okay. you. You're welcome. Teacher, excuse me. Yes. Uh, where can we find the, the podcast? OK, so the podcast, uh, if you go into your podcatcher there's a way to search for podcasts <clears throat> they'll have a search feature and you can type in keywords that will automatically search for a uh, different podcast on that subject okay so i think the first step is to find the podcatcher and then from there uh, try to search for the podcast and um, I would go ahead and try to get started and then at the moment where you're really you're still trying to find a, a podcast then I can speak more specifically about what app you're using you can show me what you're doing and, and I can help you find uh, the podcast but any search if you're even searching online you just search podcast cooking cooking podcast you're going to probably find a lot of websites. If you're using a podcatcher on your phone, 
and you type in food, you're going to get all kinds of options, all kinds of uh, options of podcasts on that subject. And so, um, so there's pretty much a podcast on any topic, just about any topic uh, out there. That's that's the good thing. Um, but yeah, try to get started, and then we can look at, you know, uh, we can try to narrow down your search if we have to. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Can we hang out? Can you hang out? Yeah. Uh, sure. In in this uh, class, in this uh, meeting, sure. Okay. Teacher, we yes. have to upload the video now, or we have the rest of the day? You have the rest of the day. If you have yeah. time to do it in class, fine. If you need the rest of the day, that's fine. Okay, and you. you're welcome. And uh, somebody asked if you want to hang out. Of course, you can use this space. You guys can talk to each other uh, as much as you want. Uh, if you guys have suggestions, right, and you want to even use the same podcast, it doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. There's so many podcasts out there. I want you to have the choice. But uh, feel free in class, when I mute my mic, you guys can still talk to each other. You can hang out and discuss whatever we're doing um, as you wish, OK? Okay, I wanted to um, offer a, an alternative. Those of you who are just entering the class and have not completed the group tasks that we started on Tuesday, that we finished on Wednesday, uh, I'm going to share my screen. I would, I think, uh, I would go to group 13. So let me go into this is our um, this is our teams. And if you go to hidden channels and select group 13, go into group 13 and you can complete the task in here. This is for those who are just entering the class that have not joined any of the other teams. Um, that uh, again, this is the task that we completed on Tuesday and Wednesday of this week. All right, so I would join group 13 and uh, complete the activity in this space. If you if you guys have questions, uh, we can address those questions today in class. Just uh, just let me know. Uh, I have a question about the post uh, about the podcast. OK. Uh, I don't used to I don't used to listen to podcasts, um, but I I listen to videos. Uh, on YouTube about everything, about anything I like. Uh, can I use uh, YouTube or or should I should I find a podcast to to listen to a topic? How do you access the the videos, the YouTube videos? Oh, we have to upload. We have to upload uh, videos too, right? Or I don't no. I didn't understand. Uh, how do you how do you access like um, the how do you access the YouTube videos? What, do you use an app on your phone? Do you uh, are you always on on a computer when you're accessing the YouTube videos? 
how do you on access the, the videos? For example, there are some people who make videos about learning English. Um, like, for example, there is uh, there's a man who makes videos about, uh, I don't know, English phrases or, I don't know if I can use them. Uh, for example, parts of the home uh, about vocabulary, about um, a specific topic. But I don't know if I can use them or not. Okay. Um, do you access them on your on your phone? Yeah. The videos. See, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, you're cutting out a little bit. Um, did you say yes? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. And do they? How often are there? Um, are there episodes? How often do they publish videos? Uh, almost once a week. Okay, almost once a week, but not quite once a week? Uh, not just one. Once a week. Uh, yeah, just once a week. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I think... Yeah, I don't have a problem if you want to use YouTube, but here's here's the thing. I I'd like for you to be to be able to access the bro the broadcast. They they need to have a broadcast at least once a week. And I have certainly no problem if you want to choose English, you know, learning and teaching English, but uh, I want you to choose a topic that uh, is interesting to you, and if you're choosing uh, an educational broadcast that it deals with, that I want you to be able to talk about content. I want you to be able, because right now we're just trying to find podcasts, but later I'm going to ask you to talk about something, right? Talk about the content and if it's about teaching and learning, um, this may sound strange, but I don't want you to talk about words that you learned, not not in this activity. I want okay, you okay. just to talk about, in, if you want to talk about the methodology, that's okay. fine. If you want to talk about, if you want to talk about basketball, I'd like for you to talk about a topic. And it can be about education. I have no problem if you want to talk about the way in which the person is teaching or learning. That's fine. That's great. But I'd like for you to talk about a topic and not necessarily talk about what you learned. In, although I think that's great and every one of you should be accessing all the resources online to help you with your own learning, right? But this activity is really about listening and bringing in something that you like and then coming later and say, OK, now I'm going to talk about about it. Right. Okay. That's kind of the end goal. So um, you can decide. I have no problem if it's a video as long as it's still within these parameters that frequent broadcast and it's about content and that the end goal is to talk about what they talked about. Does that make sense? Yeah, I, actually, I, I agree with you because those videos talk about education and how to how to improve your vocabulary. But that's why uh, that's what um, we don't know. Uh, we don't. Um, uh, we won't use that in this uh, maybe in this class. For yeah, now. this is lo que estoy pidiendo es como oportunidades de buscar podcasts que son un poco más auténtico en el sentido de no es tanto de aprender y, 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 y enseñar, es más como un tema X, es lo que hacen okay. las personas que están creando contenido. Ellos yeah. reciben información, ¿verdad? Ponen su opinión y hablar con eso es lo que estoy pidiendo. Quiero. Eh, este para ustedes hacen la misma algo auténtico no tiene que ser nada de 
de educación si no quieren, pero si, if you want to, that's fine, as long as you're talking about, in that case, methodology, like, okay, this person is teaching this way, and I agree, or I disagree, or, or whatever. Okay? Okay, good. All right. Okay, um, Ceci, I'm going to try to answer the question. Just let me know if I, if I do, if I'm successful or not. Um, the questions that are in Flipgrid are the questions that I would like for you to try to answer when you upload your response in Flipgrid. There really is no video. I'm not asking anyone to create a YouTube video. Uh, what I'm asking is that you respond, that you create a video within Flipgrid where you where you answer some of the questions that I listed in the the Flipgrid topic. OK, so again, no, I'm not asking anyone to create a YouTube video. You can use the YouTube video that I created that I explain some of the podcasts. Right. But you don't have to create a YouTube video. OK, does that answer your question? Yes, sure. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Mr. Stewart. Um, yes, sir. So we got to do our own podcast, but when we got to do it? OK. Um, para esta actividad, lo que estamos haciendo hoy, no tiene que hacer tu podcast. Ahorita la, la actividad es más enfocado en buscar uno. Uh, sí, pero yo preguntaba como cuándo, cuándo lo vamos a hacer. Para, probablemente para la próxima semana, pero no, no voy a dar como indicaciones ahorita a eso. Eh, oh, es, estoy diciendo pero... este nada más para que ustedes este, <risa> están conscientes de este, buscando podcast para esta razón, pero ahorita sería para la próxima semana. Oh, y, ¿Y como cuánto tiempo lo tendríamos que hacer? Como ¿Cuánto dure? La próxima semana voy a dar eh, instrucciones sobre, sobre eso. Ah, ok, bueno. ¿Vale? Ok. Paso por paso. Ahorita nada más este, buscar podcast y, y para, para esta actividad. ¿Sale? Ok, bueno. Okay. Gracias. De nada.
All right, guys, uh, we're getting close here to the end of the class. Today's activity was is to begin looking for podcasts. It can be uh, also videos from YouTube as long as they are being broadcast at least once a week. And I would prefer using a pod catcher just because it's simpler. Uh, the audio, I think, is more important for now than the video. Uh, it just needs to be easy to access the audio. That's the main thing, that you can listen to it frequently throughout the week, and it's easy for you to access. Okay. Are there any questions, guys, about today's activity? <clears throat> yes. Teacher. Uh, uh, okay, go ahead. Ceci, go ahead. Do, no, do. You're first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, well, wait, let me check the question. What is, what does it mean, the question, which podcaster will you be using and which websites that host a podcast will you be using? Okay, so it's probably going to be one or the other, all right? So I would suggest trying to use a podcatcher on your cell phone. And you can talk about which podcatcher you're going to use, right? Maybe it's Stitcher, maybe it's Spotify, right? And and then you can talk about that. If you say, well, I don't have space on my phone and I can't I can't uh, use my phone, I'm going to use a website, then you can talk about the website, right? Or the websites that have the podcast. Most podcasts also have a dedicated website where you can access those same podcasts. I would so, prefer the podcatcher, but you don't have to talk about both in the video. It's probably one or the other. So if I download Pocket Cast, I can road that I'm using that app? That's right, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. thank you. You're, okay, you're welcome. Here, I yes. have another question. Mm -hmm. Only we have today to uh, post the video and figure out, like during the all day. Y yes, I'm going to give everyone all day uh, to post uh, the video. Uh, tomorrow, let me let me just tell you this. Tomorrow we're going to have an activity that we're going to do in uh, this space. Okay, and we'll. Uh, I'm going to give everyone uh, time to catch up. Right. So if you're behind. Uh, don't don't worry about it. If you're having problems with technology, please let me know. Uh, I'm going to be really flexible this first week because I want to see how things go. I want to see what problems you're having, what doubts you're having. So the main thing is to try to catch up and that you're asking questions throughout the week, whether you're asking questions in class, in our live sessions, or outside of class. I have no problem setting up additional time outside of class in the afternoon to talk and meet with you if you guys are having questions or trying to catch up and you don't know where, what, where, what to do, where to go, which technologies. I understand this is an adjustment. Okay, It's going to get easier as we get used to these technologies, but don't worry. If you're not sure what to do, the main thing is to ask. All right? The worst thing you can do is just say, well, I'm lost but I'm not going to ask questions, right? So uh, just ask and uh, we'll get you caught up and uh, it will get easier. Okay. Any other questions, guys, about today's activity? And um, the, the question are the answers of the new, po the new, new podcast that we already watched here today. Like the, the video is going to be about the answers of the questions that you gave it to us in figure out. Yeah, that, that's correct. Yes, the, the questions are there to help um, guide you to what you need to talk about in the uh, in the video in the Flipgrid. Again, no video in YouTube, right? Just uh, the video that you're going to create in Flipgrid as a response to the podcast that you found and why you chose it and so on. OK, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Any other questions? Yes, I have a question. Yes. I have a question. Um, it's not for today class, but it's just like to know um, when are are we going to start um, doing podcasts? 
Okay, we're going to start next week. Now, uh, I don't want you to get concerned about doing your own podcast, okay? So I'm not going to ask anyone to to publish the podcast unless they want to, right? It can be private. Um, it's going to be, uh, it's not going to take up a lot of time, but I want you to each week have experience listening to a podcast and talking about it. And so I don't want to get into the details now until next week, but, um, you know, don't get concerned about having to publish publicly a podcast unless you want to. It's not going to be a requirement to do that. It's basically just you recording an audio talking about something that is of interest to you. That's that's basically all this podcast is going to be. Okay. okay. So don't get don't get concerned. Um, I, again, I don't want to go into the details now just because I want us to focus on this first part of the activity. OK, but we'll get into it next week. I, I think I'm going to give you I mean, I feel it's going to be plenty of time to complete the 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 part, the, the audio. All right. It's not going to be a long audio. It's going to be short. But again, the idea is each week that you have experience listening to a podcast and creating an audio all right, or a podcast. I mean, I, I'm using the word podcast creating a podcast because you are doing that, but I'm not going to ask you to create uh, an hour long podcast. No, it's not going to be like that. It's going to be very, very short audio. Okay. So don't worry yet. Okay. If you're, if you're worried after I explain next week, then let's talk. All right. But I don't want you to worry about it right now when we don't even have all the details yet. So please don't get nervous about the podcast. And I'm not going to ask anyone to publish publicly a podcast unless you want to. Okay. Okay. Thank right. you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Yes. Um, why do you tell us to get into ClickUp? What are we going to do there? Okay. In ClickUp, I'll go ahead and share my screen. So the assignment, the activity for today is to create a video response in ClickUp. So in Microsoft Teams this morning, at the beginning of class, I uploaded I uploaded a link right here. And if you click on this link, this will take you to the podcast assignment basically okay so yeah. here is how we need to conclude today's activity we go to this flipgrid activity this topic and you're going to record your response okay juana has already done so so good for her um here all of you can create your own response click on here just exactly how you did it with the introduction and answer as many of these questions as possible. You can also obviously see the video that I created to give you some direction, some guidance on finding podcasts. OK, so once you've uploaded here, then you've completed today's activity. So on ClickUp, we don't have to do anything. No. OK, thank yeah, click up. There's never ClickUp is only an organizational tool. There's um, to to, but yeah, there's nothing to do in ClickUp. It's just Flipgrid. Okay. Thank okay. You. So ClickUp, you'll never have to upload anything. Uh, it's more just information for informational purposes only. All right. So Flipgrid is where we the activities are where we we create video and audio uh, and upload as uh, as a comment. Okay. Okay. Thank right. you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Sure, thank you. No. All right. I think uh, I'll stop there for today. Uh, we'll conclude there. Uh, I'm going to stay online because I know some of you have some questions uh, that I would like to address uh, right now. I think uh, Stefani, uh, Stefana, sorry, um, if you want to uh, 
stick around and we can discuss any concerns that you have and anyone else that wants to stick around. Uh, but uh, for everyone else, we'll go ahead and stop there for today. And um, we'll meet again tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we'll do another type of activity. I'm also going to give everyone tomorrow time to do any of the activities to catch up or to clarify if you have any questions about uh, any of the activities, especially for those who are coming in late to the class. Okay. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, teacher. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Uh, Stefana, if you'd like to activate your microphone and we can talk about your questions or your any doubts that you have. Or we can meet uh, afterwards. I know you have class at uh, 10 o'clock, so it's up to you if you want to meet now or if you want to meet in the afternoon, you can tell me what time you'd like to meet. Teacher, can you send me the invite to teacher Is it? Again, please. Okay, this is uh, Lisette, no? Yeah. All right, one second. I'll do that right now. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And uh, Lisette, if you have, uh, Liz, if you have, uh, if you're connected right now and you're in your uh, inbox on your, in your email, I'm going to send it right now and you let me know if, if you receive it. Okay. And OK, I just sent it. So if you want to check and let me know. Anyone else want me to send another invite to uh, teacher ease? Let me know. Uh, Estefana, do you have any questions? Do you want to ask those now? Or uh, Jacqueline? Or anyone else? Mm, I only got to the link in the of teacher is. OK, um, if you click if you, on that link, it should take you to the page. And probably the first time you go to the page, it will maybe ask for a password. I'm not. I'm not sure, but it should give you some instructions on how to enter into the platform. So if you want to click on that link. Uh, actually, it says password and confir confirm the password. OK, so you can choose the password that you want. This is going to be the password that you use uh, to access your account in TeacherEase. So you can choose whatever password that you would like. OK. And that's it. I only put the password and that's it. I think so. I think that's it. Try it and uh, it should then take you into the platform where you can access your grades and your attendance. Estefana, would you uh, like to ask any questions? Sí, tengo una. El mensaje que me mandó que no había instalado una aplicación, ese me pide entrar a una cuenta. No. ¿De cuál plataforma? Eh, ¿Cuál sería? A ver. Es que no me... Se me olvidó. Era...
Estoy yeah, viendo. Yeah. ¿Mande? ¿De ser? Ya, ya, ya puedes yeah, entrar. Yeah. Ok, muy bien. Estefana, I'm looking at my. Estoy buscando, checando los, los mensajes y. Mm, no sé cuál, cuál sitio estás preguntando. Teacher, I think he. Sorry. Se llama teacher. It's teacher. the same question that I made. Ah, ok. Teacher is? Sí. Ah, ok. Ese. Igual debería tener como una liga en tu correo, en Office 365, en tu correo ahí. Este, nada más das un clic, vas a entrar en el sitio Teacher is. La primera vez va a pedir un uh, password. Y este, con este, tú puedes poner la, el password, lo que tú quieras. Y ya desde ahí, ya con este, este clave, ya puedes entrar en el sitio. Si quieres checarlo ahorita, si estás conectada, pues este, checarlo, entrar en el sitio para ver si puede entrar. Teacher, I already done with, with that. Ok, muy bien. Thank you. All right, you're welcome, they said. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Take care, bye bye. Estefane, si quieres checarlo y me dices si, si puedes entrar. Sí. Maestro. Sí. Este, la, las o sea, el video se va a hacer. Mmm, o sea, del podcast que elegimos, se van a uh -huh. contestar las preguntas en el video. Correcto, ¿Sí? así es. Uh -huh. Y ya después, más adelante, va a ser usted. Bueno, ahí no nos. Le estaba diciendo un compañero, no me acuerdo a quién, pero que en la semana íbamos a hacer un podcast. Así es, pero la próxima okay. semana voy a explicar bien qué consiste, qué, qué vamos a hacer en, en eso. Sí. Uh -huh. Gracias. Sí, no haré nada. Uh, Adán, did, uh, did you have any questions? Estefana, si ¿sí, sí puedes entrar, no sé si, si pudiste. Mm, solo que no hay la aplicación. Se me perdió entre tantas que tengo. ¿Y si ¿sí puedes entrar en tu correo de Microsoft? Sí. Ok, y si parece el, en la invitación de teacheries, ¿verdad? Con una liga. No, no parece. ¿No, no parece una liga? No. Ok, pero okay, ahorita le, te mando otra vez, entonces, este... Ok. Mm. Acaba de mandar otra vez la, la invitación a tu correo, si quieres checarlo, a ver si llegó. Y con este, sí. corre okay, con este correo debería ser como una liga para entrar en Teacher Ease, para establecer la clave, lo que, vas a, uh, lo que puedes utilizar a accesar la cuenta. 
No, sí, sí, lo, sí. lo ves. Y confirmar contraseña. Correcto, así es. Uh -huh. Y también me quería decirte hace rato de que no entiendo, no, bueno, no, no me sale mucho hablar inglés. Sí, miren, yo no quiero que estás muy preocupado por eso. Quiero que, que pues, échale ganas, hacen lo que puedes, lo mejor. Este, pues, de hecho, estoy, es por eso, pues, es, estoy aquí para apoyarte. Entonces, tratan a participar en las actividades, lo que puedes, sin, don't, and don't be worried, no, no tienes que preocupar sobre eso. Vamos a mejorar, vamos a trabajar, este, y, y ya, pues este, esa, es la, esa es la idea, ¿sí? Pero no puedo apoyarte si no, si no, puede, si no participe en las actividades. Entonces, eh, yo, en, yo sé del nivel, nivel de esta clase y pues vamos a, a trabajar juntos para mejorar y, y tener más confianza en la manera que estamos uh, hablando y... y pues este, comunicando en inglés, ¿verdad? Entonces, no te preocupes, pues este, hacen lo que puedes y ya desde ahí vemos y pues para que yo puedo apoyarte, ¿verdad? Sí, gracias. Y algunos consejos que me dé aparte. No, claro. Que yo practiqué. Sí, cuente, cuenten eso, cuenten eso. Este, toda la, la clase voy a dar como estrategias. Eh, que, y, y, y para apoyar que ustedes pueden adaptar algunas estrategias para, para mejorar sus habilidades, ¿no? Entonces, eh, sí, vas a recibir muchas sugerencias, ¿no? ¿Sale? Sí, está bien. Muy bien. Entonces, ¿tienes otra, otra duda, otra pregunta? El video que vamos a hacer ahora es sobre el podcast, ¿verdad? Así es. Ajá. Esa es la tercera es actividad. La primera era las introducciones. La segunda fue la, la tarea en, con, con tu grupo. Y hoy es de, sobre podcasts. Sí, entonces hay que intentarlo con, con, eh, terminar con estas tres actividades, lo que hicimos esta semana. Sí. Ok, muy bien. Cualquier cosa sí, me, bien. me dices o me, me mandas un correo, ¿sale? O un en chat. Gracias. De nada. Adán, no sé si todavía estás aquí, si tienes algunas dudas. Si tienes preguntas. Okay, I think we'll stop there then. Looks like we've concluded. I'm going to go ahead and um, push everyone out so I can close uh, today's recording. Okay, so we'll see you guys tomorrow.